get into the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to go to the uh, the book of John, chapter number two. John chapter two. John chapter two. Ask your neighbor where is your Bible? John chapter two. John chapter two. Jesus. John chapter two. John chapter two. John. John. Saint John. Not first. Not first. John or second John. John. John is after Luke. If you are there, shout amen. amen. If you are not there, shout amen. John chapter 2. Are we all there? Yes. I will read in English that uh, I believe the, my interpreter will read. Uh, do you have a Tana Bible? You don't have it? Ah, it's okay. So you'll be, you'll be interpreting most of I'm printing the part. Uh, John chapter number 2. It says, uh, remember when you are reading the word of God, you must stand. It's a way of respect. Sorry. When you are reading the word of God, you must stand. It's a sign of respect. You must stand. You must stand. John chapter 2, it goes like this. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there. Now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. And when they ran out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. Somebody say, My hour has not yet come. Verse 5. His mother said to the servant, Whatever he says to you, do it. Now there were six. There's six water pots of stone. According to the manner of purification, the Jews containers containing 20 or 30 gallons apiece. Jesus said to them, fill the water pots with water. And they said to them, to, to, to them, draw out some now and take it to the master of the feast. And they took it. When the master was, when the master of the feast they tasted the water that was made wine. And he did not know who had drawn the water new. The master of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, Every, every man at the beginning sets out the good wine. And when, he, when the guests have well drank, then the inferior, then the inferior, we have kept the good wine until now. This, be this beginning of signs of Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him. May, the, may God bless the reading of the word. Allow me to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word. Speak it to your people, oh God. As you say, a man shall not live by bread alone, but by each and every spirit that proceeds from your heart. God of my Father, God of Citadel, God of Apostle Chukur, I'm here. Use me to speak to your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may take your seats. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ha. Jesus, Jesus. Are you ready for the word? Are you ready for the word? Are you ready for Jesus? Okay. Uh, last time when I was when I was when we started our our, our, our first Sunday, I said I went. I was coming from Bristol. Then I saw a policeman standing. You know the story when I was when, when I, what, the story that I was talking I was telling you about. And I was a policeman of Jehovah on Sunday. But today I have come. Is a soldier of Jehovah. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. There is something that I understand about soldiers. Whenever people they are prostrating or whenever people they are want to to repair or get something, if there is police there, people usually uh, deny policemen. But when they see soldiers coming, soldiers they are reserved for war. Soldiers they are reserved for a uh, uh, difficult situation. Soldiers they are reserved if. For, 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 for greater things. Soldiers are reserved for bigger things. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you giving me somebody? 
Last week I came as a policeman. And I was really as a policeman. But today I came as a sales observer. I'm about to deal with the difficult situation in your life. God is about to take that difficult situation in your life. We were facing many challenges in life. But I have come as a Jehovah. I have come as a soul of Jehovah. I'm about to deal with that situation. That was permanent for a long period of time. I see soldiers, they are reserved for bigger issues. Today, I have come as a soul of Jehovah to deal with big issues. Somebody tell Jehovah, change my story. From where we have read, the Bible says, on the third day, somebody tell third day. Why is it it was on the third day? Why is it is what on the third day? The Bible says on the third day there was a wedding at Cana of Galilee. And you read the, if you read the Bible well, when it talks about that day, the Bible says Jesus died and rose on the third day. And before he was 12 years old, he went missing and he was found on the third day. Somebody saw the third day. Somebody saw the third day. So there is something about this third day. Because this is the same day that Jesus rose up. This is the same day that when Jesus went missing, he was found on the third day. Somebody saw three. Somebody saw three. Can I talk about three here? If you read the Bible, it talks about Jesus. The Bible says at the mountain of Transfiguration, he met Jesus. He met he was, there was Jesus. There was Moses, there was Elijah. There were three at the Mount of Transfiguration. And the Bible says, before you go to the Mountain of Transfiguration, you went with Peter, John, and James. There were three. Somebody saw three. Somebody saw three. If you read the Bible again, it talks about three. There's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. This is three. This is three. If you read the Bible word, the Bible says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. This is three. Somebody shall three. Somebody shall three. Somebody shall three. If you read the Bible word, there is God of Abraham, God of Jacob, God of Isaac. This is three. Somebody shall three. Somebody shall three. If you read the Bible word, it says all the blessings of God. There was a big here. There was a big here. And there was Jesus. And God of them, there were two. Some are so two. And today is the third day in the realm of the Spirit. Jesus died in the realm of the third day. That situation, that was dead in the life. Today is the third day of the life. Today is the third day of the life. In the world to rise up. So I saw three. So three. So this is on the third day. And Jesus is attending a wedding. Three. Somebody shout three. On the third day. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, when Jesus was at the wedding, the way, the wine, the wine, the Bible says, then it ran out. And Jesus was there at the wedding. He was invited at the wedding. And wine ran out. And the Bible says, then the mother of Jesus came to Jesus and told Jesus that Jesus, wine is ran out. My question is, Gee, why, you mother, why are you going to Jesus? Is Jesus the owner of the wedding? Why are you going to Jesus? You are supposed to go to the administrator who was administrating this wedding. You are supposed to go to people that were planning this wedding. So now why are you going to Jesus? Even Jesus is a visitor. Hallelujah. Jesus is the visitor here. So why are you going to Jesus? Hallelujah. And I got a revelation that maybe at home day, Jesus used to do some miracles that his mother could understand that the money is right out but there is somebody but there is somebody maybe money is running out in your life maybe your health is running out now 
But there is somebody here. There is somebody here. There is Jesus here. Hallelujah. The mother of Jesus is going to Jesus. He said, Jesus, there is no one here. Jesus, are you the owner of the, this wedding? Are you the bridegroom? Jesus is not even the bridegroom. Hallelujah. Can I show you? The reason why this wine ran out is because they did not introduce Jesus first. Most of the people here, the reason why you are suffering in your business is because you did not introduce Jesus first. <laughs> are you getting me somebody? There are people here, your marriage is not working. Why? Because you did not introduce Jesus first. That's why your wedding is running out. Are you telling me something? Uh, I saw the better amen there. Amen. Saw amen there. Saw amen there. This is the 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 the, the, honor, the, the plan of the wedding. We are supposed to go to Jesus and plan with Jesus so that the wine will not run out. But they decided to make Jesus as a visitor. Most of you, Jesus is a visitor in your life. He just visits. Turn to neighbor as a neighbor. Jesus, is he, is he a visitor in your life? Or is he in your life? Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus was a visitor. They did introduce, they did include Jesus when they were planning their wedding. Your life, you need to introduce God first. Because the Bible says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt in the manners. Why is it in the beginning? And the Bible says, Jesus is the beginning and the end. That means in the beginning, that means in Jesus, there was the word. Are you there with somebody? And the Bible says, in the beginning, God created. That means in Jesus, because Jesus is the beginning. God created the heaven and earth. In Jesus. Why? 